Welcome back. It's Melanie or She Should Scrappers. So today I am back with a two-page layout, uh, Disney layout, using, I believe, one of the older Say Cheese collections from Simple Stories. I also am using a giant title that I bought when I was at the Great Lakes Mega Meet from Paper Wizard. And it's funny how getting a couple of new things can really inspire you to uh, create when you've kind of been uninspired I guess. Um, I haven't really done much Disney lately um, but after going to the Great Lakes Mega Meet I think this is my fourth two-page layout. Um, two of which were in my May layout share. Those were page kits from Paper Wizard as well so definitely check the layout share. I believe those two layouts are in the beginning of the layout share. And then I had one last week using a couple of, um, oh, I don't know, characters in the title uh, from Petticoat Parlor. And so that was a Toy Story one, and that was really fun too. So for this layout, I am just having that light blue paper go all the way across the page. And then initially, I was just going to have the striped paper um, as a layer at the top and the bottom. But then when I flipped it over, I saw the uh, black kind of polka dot paper and I really liked that as well and so what I end up doing is cutting a shorter strip of that black polka dot here um so that I can make it look like a third layer here um and the nice thing is if you I don't if you layer like this you can get away with just almost scraps if you needed to. Um, I used full pieces of paper, but you could definitely use scraps instead um, if that's all you had and make it look like it goes all the way down the page when in fact it's just the two strips. So again, I'm just going to kind of line them up like this. Another, I guess, good way of getting more patterns on a page as well, but not having it to look too busy. Um, I definitely think having that blue pattern paper, it's more subtle. Um, and so I think having that kind of in the middle helps to with the layout not too busy. I am going to get lots and lots of photos on this page. Um, I cut some two by three and I'm going to use two flip flaps I believe. Um, I kind of went crazy taking photos of all of our food um, at Disney. We had so much yummy food um, and when I saw the title A Taste of Magic when I was at the Great Lakes Mega Meet I knew it was perfect for my layouts here or my pictures I guess. So uh, those crepes are probably my son's and my husband's favorite food from our trip. Um, my youngest and I are going back in November and that is one thing he wants to get again was the berry crepes from France and Epcot. Those are really good. So I am going to end up doing a flip flap for that four by six and I found a good journaling um, cut apart here. This is actually from an Echo Park collection, uh, but really liked the journaling and how it wasn't a full four by six because obviously I have stuff to jot down, but not a huge long story. And so if I would have made my own, I feel like it would have been the full by six, four by six, if that makes sense. But instead, it's kind of a little bit shrunken down the space to journal in. Oh, I absolutely forgot that I brought in another pattern, uh, brought in this red paper. I kind of wanted a, maybe a base, so to speak, for my photos to go all the way across the paper. And so I brought in this red here and that is going to just go completely across the page, kind of for my photos to sit on, I guess. Um, and I just dovetailed both ends of the paper there. So once I get that done, I will... I think matte most of my photos, which I don't think I make you guys watch because that does take quite a while, especially when there's this many photos. Uh, but you can kind of see how page one, I guess, at least is going to be laid out with those two photos there. Um, well, the flip flap too, I guess. So once that's done, I can then go ahead and just start taping down all of my photos. 
And then I believe I'm gonna use the two by three flip flap on that middle bottom photo there. Um, and it's gonna be my youngest holding up his uh, character waffles. However, I will kind of talk about my favorite foods because uh, <laughs> I am still just taping down photos. Um, if you love buffalo chicken, I highly recommend the buffalo chicken uh, flatbread from Pinocchio's, I think it's Pinocchio House. And then that's in Magic Kingdom. And then there is a buffalo chicken uh, grilled cheese, which is under the crepes um, over there. That is from the ABC Commissary in Hollywood Studios. I loved both of them and have gotten both of them already on my last trip. <laughs> so definitely one that I will continue to get. Um, embellishing this one was a little bit interesting. I had gone ahead and kind of separated out all of the food items ahead of time. And um, I have a lot of them. I <laughs> got different collections, different uh, food item, well, similar food items, different sizes and stickers and ephemera and all of that goodies. Um, but on that top right, I thought it was so cute to add, I think it's the confectionery is what it's called was one of them and then another building but then that little boy has a pretzel in his hand and I just thought it was adorable um I don't usually use little characters like that but I had to use it on this one um I just thought it was so cute and then that little blurb says here for the food <laughs> and then on the bottom there was a little table and chairs and just so cute um kind of reminded me where the picture um that it's kind of sitting on top of was taken. Uh, that was, oh, I don't know what it's called now. Cheshire. That's the Cheshire cat tail. I think that they're sharing there. Um, and it, I don't know, we were just kind of at a table that was similar to that. And so I just kind of snuck some other food ephemera underneath of it, a coffee, which we did get at that place. And then churro, which I've been twice now. And I don't, I, we have not gotten the churro and I cannot believe it. I need to do that in November. Oh my goodness. But I included the churro anyways, cause I thought it was just too cute. Um, so now I just kind of had to figure out how and where and what to embellish. Um, I wanted that happiness. It starts here. Um, that's a piece of chipboard from an Echo Park collection. I just thought that was a good other saying kind of for that side of the page. But I wanted to add something else on it. And so I did end up adding the popcorn there um, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. And then I found this Oh Happy Day uh, and decided to kind of place that at the top and kind of layer some more food underneath of it. Um, just get all of that food in there. <laughs> So there's an ice cream sandwich and a corn dog and Dole Whip and then just like a ticket there. Uh, I just, I think I had so many options for embellishing that I really felt like I just needed to keep going and keep adding to it. And so um, down here under the 4x6 flip flap, I added a um, backpack and a pretzel and I think ice cream. Um, it's just kind of fun with a flip flap. It kind of hiding embellishments kind of like that lets maybe other people know that, Hey, there's something under there. And so, um, kind of gives them an idea to lift that up a little bit to see what's underneath. Uh, so now just taping down, uh, the ephemera here and I have since gotten my scrap and happy studio magical getaway box. Um, but when I did this layout, I hadn't received it yet. And there's lots of things about yummy treats. Um, so I will have to go back and add some of the flair from Scrap and Happy Studio to this layout because there's so many pieces that work, um, with like the snack theme. Uh, if you didn't watch that unboxing, definitely check it out. I love all of her pieces. There's canvas flares, epoxy flares, mini flares, um, the regular size flares, just a really great selection. Um, and I just love, love the product. So I think that is just about going to finish it off. You can see I did add a couple of other pieces, a pretzel down to that popcorn, and then a saying underneath the um, crepes as well. 
but that finished it off. I will link anything I can find um, down below. There is a really cute new Disney collection as well. I just bought that. So check out that haul video and I'll link that collection down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys.